Restaurants in Portland can continue to offer outdoor dining. The city council voted unanimously last night to extend outdoor dining on public sidewalks and parking spots until May. The news comes as a relief as many business owners say that having outdoor space has been critical to staying open and keeping people safe. News Center Maine's Shannon Moss joins us now from the Old Port with more on this. Shannon. Well, Cindy, we're at the corner of Wharf and Dana Streets in Portland. You can see behind me just one of the many outdoor eating areas at restaurants in the city have put up um, since this pandemic started. In fact, in the summer, during the summer months, the city of Portland issued almost 200 outdoor dining permits. Now that's an easy sell when the weather is nice, right? But what happens when cold temperatures and snow are on the menu? Well, restaurants have been doing what they've been doing since the start of the pandemic. They've been adapting in order to survive. The slots are alternating, so you have airflow coming through the wall. In the next week, this outdoor patio, which was once a gravel courtyard, will be ready for guests. We have um, seven of these, 35,000 watts. This outdoor eating area, complete with heated concrete floors, is located at Little Giant, a restaurant on Danforth Street in Portland's West End. Owner Jan Malin says the pandemic has made this addition critical for the restaurant's survival. The other months of the year, aside from the summer, have been absolutely atrocious. Nobody could have expected anything quite like this. Damien Cincinnati and his wife own Chevelle Restaurant on Pine Street. To help keep the business going through the winter, they built greenhouses for people to dine in. Mini houses that have lights and heaters allow for proper airflow and can be easily cleaned. I mean, when it was snowing last week and the week before and you're sitting out here, I mean, it almost kind of feels a little magical. Sansonetti says the support from the community has been heartwarming. I was very moved last week when it was like in the 20s and we had people sitting here. Jan Malin says his focus is bringing the indoor dining experience outdoors, even if it's a huge financial risk doing so. A little bit terrifying. Um, but the whole year has been terrifying, so um, but we're excited. We cannot wait to open the doors for this space. Outdoor spaces being built to survive the pandemic, but serve as an investment for the future. That's right, an investment for sure. In fact, in the spring and summer months, Chevelle is going to use those greenhouses as actual greenhouses. They want to grow herbs and use other things that they can you know, use in the restaurant. Also at Little Giant, that outdoor structure besides dining post pandemic will be used for parties, corporate gatherings, you name it. So it looks like Al Fresco in Portland will be here to stay. But of course, keep in mind that not every restaurant either financially or logistically can have outdoor dining. So if you are comfortable dining indoors, please consider, you know, using those as going to those establishments. And as always, remember, you know, take out. It's always a thing. <laughs> These businesses, they certainly need our help during this pandemic. Indeed. Cindy, we'll send it back to you. All right, Shannon, thank you.